On today's episode of Amanda Felix Eats, we'll be taking you guys along with us to explore some Japanese cuisine in Kamuki. Of course, I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> and you guys don't wanna miss this one because we have a new spot and also a highly recommended dessert spot. This is so smooth, it's crazy. I'm so excited to get digging in to this. Let's get going. What's going on, Foodie Ohana, and welcome back to the channel. For today's episode, we are here in Kamuki exploring a brand new Japanese restaurant. And this spot is super duper iconic here in Hawaii. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this place, but they just opened a new location. So we're gonna try it out for you guys today. They do not have validated parking, but there is a parking lot here you can park. I believe it is the municipal parking lot here in Kamuki, or you can find street parking as well. So let's get into today's video. Let's go. Alright, Furio Hana, we are here at Kaimuki Shokudo. And as I said, Shokudo is very, very famous here in Hawaii for none other than their honey toast. But today we are at their new location. It is more of a soba slash izakaya focused menu. So they have a bunch of different and locally sourced soba that we're super excited to be featuring. If you guys are buckwheat noodle lovers, I'm sure you'll love this spot. Keep in mind, this is indeed their soft opening that we're featuring today. So it is going to be an izakaya. However, there are certain things that aren't on the menu yet, such as alcoholic beverages. More than happy to showcase some of their signature dishes, starting with their in-house made sodas. We ordered a yuzu refresher. And guys, in-house made syrups, soda water. That's it. Keep it simple. Keep it refreshing. This one's yours. Oh, is it? I ordered water. Oh, yeah. Amanda with the usual H2O order. <laughs> Cheers. This okay. is not sweet at all. It just tastes like pear fruit, very simple. Ooh. It tastes like a Japanese spin drift. <laughs> I use a spin drift. Yeah. If you catch our drift. But anyway, we're gonna get ordering and we will see you when the food comes out. Our concept for this restaurant is a little bit different from the Shukudo down in Ala Moana. We're more of a soba house in Izakaya. Our noodles are locally sourced. And then we do traditional two kinds of hot and cold. The kake is going to be, of course, your traditional hot. The risotto is going to be your traditional cold. But for the cold part, we actually have two versions where the cold broth is with the noodles. So in the menu, it'll say hot and cold. On the far right, it'll say hot and zaru. All right, Foodie Ohana, the food has arrived and it comes out quick. But first, let's get into this mermaid roll. It's a shrimp tempura roll topped with spicy ahi tenkasu or the tempura flakes and also kabayaki sauce and green onions. All right, let's get into the roll. All right. Ooh, look how pretty this roll is. It even has cucumber in there as well. I generally like the tail end pieces because it gives a little more crunch if you like to eat the shell off the shrimp. All right, give you a little soy bath. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. I will say right off the bat, I like the rice here. It's very al dente, not too mushy, not hard rice. It's just right. This should be called the faithful roll, like the good old faithful. Can't go wrong with this roll. You get this at Genki Sushi, a lot, a lot of you guys know it's dynamite roll. Very similar, spicy ahi on top, shrimp tempura in the middle. Awesome flavors in your mouth. And the ahi is like butter, like super buttery. It just melts in your mouth, but it has a little crunch from the tempura, so you're not missing that texture. And also, I forgot to mention, but here at the Kamuki Shokudo, they do give a little 
tasting of their sides. This is the cabbage and the gobo. So I kind of want to try that. Okay, sure. They do have it on the menu as a side dish as well, but it comes like a, it's like an actual like side portion. This is more like a, a little palate tasting gobo. Gobo for us. Go for the gobo. Mm. If you guys don't know, uh, gobo is burdock. Mm. Ooh, really savory. Very tasty. Hints of sweetness, but very savory. Mm. Perfect with noodles. I'm gonna try the cabbage. This is like a pickled cabbage or a fermented cabbage. Mm. Pretty much like how you would get at a lot of Japanese restaurants, but very nostalgic. But the roll, man. So far, the roll is where it's at. Mm. If you guys are Saba lovers, they do have a Saba aburi on the menu, which sounded amazing. I, I think we should order that. Next time we're gonna get that, no, for sure. No, today. I'm thinking oh. we should order that today. I really wanted to try this one. Now, let's get into the soba. I generally, when it comes to soba, I like my soba cold. I, I get hot easily, guys. I overheat. So one of their more known soba dishes that are available cold is the uni soba. And guys, I have not seen this anywhere else in Hawaii, so very, very interested to try this one. Look how much uni they give. And this is a Hokkaido uni. We got confirmation. Hokkaido uni on cold soba. What could be better? And for me, I got the duck watercress soba. So it's a grilled duck on the top of soba. You can get it hot or cold. The server, Rio, shout out to you. He recommended that we get it hot because this is more like a hot dish. So that's what I did. And you guys know I love my hot soup. So I'm so excited to get digging into this. Comes with the usual accoutrements of wasabi, green onion. Going in. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of wasabi, a little bit of uni. I didn't realize how hard it was gonna be to pick up the uni. It's like butter. It's like trying to pick up butter with chopsticks. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that uni is fantastic. Mm. It literally just adds a creaminess, creamy brininess to the dish itself. The noodles are al dente. It's so chewy. Look, it's gonna bounce away from the table now. Whoa. So bouncy, so fresh. The noodles are made locally as well, guys. Can I just say, you guys, these noodles with the duck and the broth is so heartwarming. I can definitely see myself getting this. Like Felix mentioned with the uni, I have never seen a duck soba before, so I was really, really pleasantly surprised by this dish. And just the umami flavor of the broth is not super duper salty either. I know some places can be really salty or a little watery. Perfect balance for the soup and the noodle. And they give a hefty portion of noodles. They don't skip on the noodles for sure. Shall we switch? I'm curious to try that as well. I think you're gonna like this one. I mean, it's uni. Of course I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> oh, you know what I feel like they should have done? They should have put a little bit of foie gras on here. I think that would just take it over the top. I'm gonna mm. try one of the duck here. The noodles. The duck is so tender and moist as well. Oh. It's buttery. All right, cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really tender. Oh my goodness. These noodles are so al dente. This reminds me of like, Char Siu Ramen. For me, I think the winner is still that uni, uni soba, guys. If you guys love seafood and you love soba, you will definitely enjoy this dish. I love the hint of the kizami nori or the sliced nori on top. It gives it a nice like seafood umami flavor. The noodles for that one is so much more al dente because it's not in a hot broth. So if you guys love al dente noodles, highly recommend getting the uni one. Get it cold, guys. Do yourselves a favor. Thank me later. If you don't mind the soggy noodles and you gotta take a lot of pictures like us, then get the hot one. <laughs> the duck, I thought it was very tender, very, very well cooked in my opinion. And also it's not as gamey as well. It's like a little bit of gaminess, which is good if you don't like that full like gamey flavor. And you guys, I love how here too, they take a very traditional Japanese dish such as soba and they put a nice modern twist on it. We forgot the tempura. Mm. Tempura. But when eating soba, you gotta, gotta order tempura. I mean, in my opinion, I love tempura with my soba. We got the assorted tempura, which comes with tempura shrimp, kabocha tempura, and eggplant. And shimeji mushroom tempura. And guys, if you're indecisive like we are, why not get the assorted? Do yourselves a favor. Try the best of all worlds. And it looks like it's garnished with a little bit of rock salt, just in case you want it a little more salty. Look at this shrimp submarine. Oh my goodness. Mmm, 
You guys hear that crunch? Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's so light, very meaty, a lot of shrimp. Mm mm mm. You gotta balance it out with some chewy noodles, right? Mm. I love how too the, the tempura is like not overcooked. It's nice and golden and crispy. I love love shrimp tempura. The shrimp on the inside is so tender. And the sauce is a tempura sauce. It typically has daikon oroshi or like grated daikon in there. Hit it with a little bit of salt. Oh man. Guys, look at this tempura piece. I didn't see this one. What it's eggplant this? though. This is eggplant? Yeah, you don't like eggplant, so that's mine. Are you sure this is not a log from Japan? <laughs> Stop! Stop! This is why I don't trust you. Did it hit the table? Luckily, no. No, because I strategically please, held um, it over the plate. Can you... Um, I'll do the mushroom then. Oh, this is like a cluster of mushrooms. Look at that. Yeah. Hey guys, let us know down below. What is your favorite tempura? Mm. Very umami flavor. I just love that the tempura batter is so light and not saturated in oil. Especially when it's that thick of a tempura. Usually it's like a oil implosion in your mouth, but very clean, very lightly fried. And also guys, I do want to mention they have like grilled negi and stuff here inside of the soup. And it gives the soup a nice like char flavor as well. So guys, we could not have left here without trying the Aburi Saba roll. Rio made it sound so good. He said it is an acquired taste. So we love Saba ourselves. So that's why we're like, why not? Let's get it. And Aburi just means torched or seared. So we loved anything seared. We love it. And also in here, it's like vibes, like the music. Yeah. <laughs> it's copyright central. <laughs> but if you're not here to make a video, total vibes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, there I goes your saba. saba. Saba is not a. <laughs> Get it? Cause it's drunk. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Saba does have like a more like a little fishier taste than a normal like plain like ahi or something. I love that they torch it because it gives a nice little char royal flavor. And also it's a little bit um, acidic or vinegary. If you are like the kind of person that loves more like sourness, definitely super delicious. I feel like it's a perfect blend, especially with the kabayaki sauce. It gives it a nice sweet round note to end it all off. So it hides a lot of that pungent fishy taste that comes with, that's associated with saba. There is a shrimp tempura and cucumber on the inside as well. This should be like the everything bro. It has every single flavor profile. And guys, if you want to check out this spot, Kamiki Shokuro, make sure you check the links down in the description below. We have everything linked down there. And again, thank you so much to Kamiki Shokuro for having us. And now on to the dessert segment, guys. We need something to round off the meal. Come on, you already know Furio Hana. See you there. segment right across the street guys so if you want to replicate this video or this foodie adventure super easy just go across the street to daily whisk matcha and guys we heard a lot about this spot they're known for their matcha and we can't wait to try it out yes because who doesn't love matcha Um, matcha lily koi soda yeah. and one iced hapa matcha latte. Sounds good. Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute. So guys, we are here at Daily Whisk Matcha. This is our very first time here, so we're trying them out. What I got was a matcha lily koi soda. So on the bottom here is their homemade passion fruit lily koi syrup. Nice and refreshing. It does remind me of Jumbi, but a little bit different. And I got the hapa latte. So hapa is just mi means mixed in local terms. So it's hojicha on the bottom, mixed with matcha on the top, and creamery of your choice, which I got almond milk. All right. Ooh, did you see that? Oh, the mixing, I missed it. I didn't miss it yet, so. And as you guys know, we love ourselves some matcha, so we can't wait to try it. Cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. Oh, that is so smooth. That is so creamy. Mm. I can't believe this is almond milk, to be honest. This has a little bit of uh, carbonation to it as well, which makes it super duper refreshing. It makes me glad that I did not get the yuzu soda at Shokuro because I got this instead. This is really nice. I love the hint of roasty toastedness from the hojicha, which is basically just roasted oolong or roasted tea. And the creaminess of the matcha just balances it, rounds it out really well nicely mm, this is really you're gonna love this one i think if you're not a huge like matcha fan and you like more soda and more fruitiness you'll definitely like this one because the matcha flavor is not super strong and also i will say the matcha here is so smooth yes super super smooth yeah they all have big forearms back there because they're like whisking the baby up all day <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow you hardly taste the matcha in this, mm -hmm. but it's at the very end. This is so smooth, it's crazy. This just tastes like a lily koi soda with a nice earthy tone at the very end to round it off. I think I prefer mine. Yes, there. I prefer this because I had the yuzu soda from earlier, so I'm all carbonated out. Perfect way to end this video as well. Thank you so much for coming along on today's foodie adventure. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps out our videos. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free and it helps us out a lot. Come join our Foodie Ohana and we will see you on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next one, try out these matcha teas. Get yourself some uni soba, duck soba, the works. Explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye see you guys. Accoutrement. Accoutrement. Accoutrement? Cheers. And for me, whoa, my voice on the weird. The wasabi green onion. That's for this. Oh, yeah, say that again, my name. And shinichi mushroom. She may, she may. You said it is? An acquired taste. Kombucha? No, no. kabocha. Oh. Okay. Wait, that's this. Real? And also, oh, what? No, no, no. Check the links down in this. Sorry. Because we got, we need something to offset the. No, we need something to. All out rounds it, you out.